Welcome to Lesson 5 of Saxon Math Course 2. In this lesson, we're going to talk about surface area of a right solid. We're also going to talk about the surface area of a sphere, and we're going to calculate both of those. Okay, so you know that we have calculated the total area surface of a, a solid is like this rectangular box here, and that's called the surface area. All the sides, everything around it, if you wrap it up, that's all called the surface area. So this block here has six rectangular faces on it, just like a dice would have, or a die would have six faces on it. And when it asks you to find the surface area, it wants to know what all of those sides, the area of all of those sides added together would be. So if you start up here on the top, right, and you take that, you know that it's 5 times 6, and that equals 30 centimeters cubed. Because this tells us that it's 5 and this tells us that it's 6. So I take it 5 by 6, and you do the same thing for all the sides. So then the bottom is going to be identical to the top, so that's another 30. And then you're going to calculate the front here, which is going to be 6 by 3, right? because it's 3 tall. And the back is going to be the same as that, so that's another 18. And then you do both of these sides, which are 5 times 3, which is 15. Add them all up, and you get 126 centimeters squared. All right? Okay, so... Now, we're going to find the surface area of a triangular prism, which is going to be slightly different than what we just did, only because you have a couple of areas that you're going to have to divide by two because they're what? Yeah, they're triangles. So, this one here, we would we could start with just the triangular sides, right? And they're going to be four times three divided by two. So, each of these are going to be six. Let's see if I make a six in there. And you have two of those, one on each side. Then you've got the area of the triangle itself. That you've got to calculate. You've got the bottom, which is 6 times 3. 6 times 3, which is the bottom piece. And that's 18. And then you have the back piece back here. Right back in here. You have that, and that's going to be 6 times 4. So that's going to be 24. And then you have this, this, this great big one on the front of the face here, which is 6 times 5, which is 30. And you can add all those together. And it'll tell you that the surface area of this triangle is 84 centimeters squared. Because you're getting surface, doing the surface area, you're not going to divide everything by two. You're just going to divide the surface areas that are actually triangles by two. So don't get those, don't get that confused when you're doing it like you do when you're, you're trying to find uh, volume. Okay, so they call lateral surface. Lateral surface is this outer part. This is this side here, this side here, and the one in the back there. The part that folds up to form the triangle, not, not the sides of the triangle itself. That's called the lateral surface area. And a real fast way to figure that out, if you're, so if you were to <coughs> unroll that and get those sides, you'd have 3 times 4 times 5, and then you'd multiply all those together, and then you'd times it by this, this height of 6, which would tell you that it's 72 centimeters squared. And then if you add the two triangles, if you remember those were 6 each, Right, so the total surface area was 84 centimeters cubed, but the lateral surface area is 72. <coughs> excuse me, 72 centimeters squared. All right, so the reason why I know lateral surface area is because we deal with that when we're doing the surface area of a of a cylinder, like the soup can. So here in this question here, it asks us what's the area of the label on the soup can in dimensions as shown. Well, you wonder how would you figure that out? That seems like that would be kind of difficult. And then what is the total surface area of the can? So first of all, just think if you were to, most soup cans have a, a wrapper around them, right? If you were to take that wrapper and peel it off and lay it out flat, it would look like a rectangle, wouldn't it? It would look just like that. So once you do that, then you can figure out, you can figure out the circumference. If you figure out the round, that is really the length, isn't it? That's the circumference. When you unwrap it, when you unwrap this, that becomes this length right here. The circumference becomes this. So if you'll calculate the circumference and then times it by the height, you can find out the, the, the surface area of the wrapper of that soup can or that soup can itself. So you're going to take pi times diameter times height. So we're going to use 22 divided by 7 for pi. We're going to times it by 7, which we know is our diameter. And then we're going to times it by 10. And so we're going to come up with 22, 10 being the height. So 22, 220 centimeters squared is what this equals. It's 220 centimeters squared. All right. Okay, so 
again, step two, B says, what is the total surface area of the entire can? Well, we already know what it is for the for the wrapper. So the only thing we're missing really is the top and the bottom. And you all know how to calculate surface area of a circle, which is pi times radius squared. So in this case here, seven is diameter, half of seven is three and a half. And you can convert three and a half to seven over two, which makes it a little bit easier right here so that you can do your multiplying. And when you multiply those out, you find out that the surface area of the top is 38.5. You add a bottom to that because it's the bottom of the can. And you add all of that to the, the, the lateral surface that you already figured for the wrapper. And you get a total of 297 centimeters squared. And that's what it'd be for the entire can. So you need to make sure it's asking for the entire can, just the top, or, or the lateral surface of the going around the can, the lateral surface of the can, not the entire can. All right, so let's learn another new concept. It's a new formula that you're going to have to memorize for your testing. How do we figure the surface area of a sphere or a ball? How do we do that? Well, what they do is they'll take this cr the cross section, right? So if you're to like, cut this in half, this this you know, the, right through the middle of a of a ball. So this part right here, you calculate the surface area of that, and then you times it by four. So once you know that the diameter and the radius of that the particular sphere, then you can just use the the formula that you know how to calculate area of a circle, and then times it by four, and it'll give you the surface area, the surface area of the entire sphere. Okay. All right, let's try it. All right, so here we've got a ball. It's a tennis ball. It has a diameter of six. So find the surface area of this tennis ball to the nearest square centimeter. So go ahead and see if you can do this. Pause the video and see if you can do it. All right. Okay, you should have noticed this up here. And so you would have, should have taken, if you know the diameter is six, your radius you know is three. So you should have taken 3, 3, and times it by 3.14. That's the radius squared part. Get all of that, and then you times that by 4. So when you come down here, you see that. Here, here it is right here. And then you square your 3 because you've got to get radius squared. And so that's 9. And then you multiply those all together, and you get 113.04 centimeters squared. So you know it's 6. You need half of that, which is the 3 square that which makes it 9 so you get 9 squared times pi times 4 and that is your surface area of a, a ball or a sphere alright so you need to remember that remember it's the same thing as a circle just so you got times by 4 because you're doing the sphere alright let's try let's try a little puzzle here to see how we do find the total surface area of this figure the units are in centimeters I'll pause the video while you try to figure this out. So you want to figure out each one of the surface areas. You've got to figure out this one, then this one, then this one, then this one, then this one, the one on the back here, the one on the back here, the one on the bottom. All right? Go ahead and see if you can do that. Pause it, see if you can get the right answer, and let's see how you did. Okay. Well, you've got, first thing you've got is you have these two sides like this. And when you calculate the surface area of all of that, those equal 12 centimeters squared. Then you have, and you have two of those. You have the front and the back. Now, if you don't know how to do that, well, then you've got, you know, the whole thing was four times four, which would be 16. But then you've got to cut. You got this this cutout section here. You got to subtract, which then will take you back down to 12. So you've got two of those. So that's 24. Then you've got the back, this back piece right here, which is four. Then you have the bottom piece right here, which is four. And then you have these pieces right here, which are all two, with, and there's four of those, so that equals eight. When you add all of that up, you get 40 centimeters squared. Hopefully you got that answer. It's a little bit of a puzzle, but you should be able to do this at this stage. All right. Let's do two more practices on your own and then do your TIDs. So find the area of the label on this can of tuna and also find the total surface area for the entire can. Pause it. 
do it and then I'll kind of walk through it with you and see if you did all the steps correctly. Okay, let's look at C there. Let's find the area of the label on this can. So it tells us that the label, we've got to find the circumference. And then we're going to times it by the height of the can to get our, because we're going to unroll that paper. And so we're going to take 10 and we're going to times it by 3.14, which equals 31.4. And now we've got 31.4. We're going to times it by 4, which is our height. And so we're going to get for A, we're going to get a total of 125 0.6 centimeters squared. Now we've got that. We're going to keep that information because we can use it for, for D. We can use that 125.6. We're going to need that because now we, now we got to do is calculate the surface area of the top of the can and the bottom of the can. To do that, we're going to take the radius, which is 5. We're going to square that, which is 25, times it by pi because that's the area for a circle is pi times radius squared. When we do that, we get 78 0.5 for the surface area of the top of the can. We add another 78.5 for the bottom of the can and then we add our label, the surface area of the label of 125.6 and we get our total of 282.6 centimeters squared. Alright, hopefully you uh, were able to absorb some of that. We'll practice it in class. Here's your TIDs. Get them done. Submit them to me online and we'll see you tomorrow in class to answer any of your questions and do our math. Thank you.